Hey everyone, so I'm back with another book review and this is like my third day because I had um, quite a few to catch up on but I won't have uploaded them all in the same day. Um, so now my review is on Kiss Me I'm Irish by Bella Street and I'll read back the book. In 1813 Emily Musgrave is heading to a convent for misbehaviour. In modern day Tennessee Liam Jackson is playing his dobro in CD bars. It's doing nothing for his music career and even less for the dark places in his soul. Pixie mischief can not only change timelines, it can change hearts, because sometimes a girl just needs a little magic in her life. Um, so Bella Street sent this to me, um, she very kindly signed it for me. Um, oh my god, I loved this book. I don't want this video to turn into a gush fest, but I'm concerned it might, because I'm just so in love with this book right now, it's unbelievable. Um, I thought it, I would really like it, but I couldn't put it down. Um, when I did have to put it down, I was thinking about it and wanting to pick it back up again because I loved it so much. Um, the cover's really cute. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you can get a physical copy of it here in the UK yet, but if you can, get it because I'm not kidding. I loved it. Um, I I think it's 308 pages. Um, there are no page numbers uh, on it, so I never really knew how far in I was. Um, I could not put it down. I read it in two days, but in reading hours, that's probably one and a half. Um, oh, it's just great. Okay, so in Regency times, Emily is being sent to a convent by her uh, aunt, who is a very strict woman and Emily got caught uh, kissing an Irish man because she didn't want to marry an old man so she thought if she got caught then she, the engagement would be broken off. So her aunt's uh, making her go to a convent and she escapes the carriage on the way and ends up in some magic circle and ends up being transported to 2011 in Tennessee where Liam and his sister Tinker um, take the, her under their wing and take her back to their motel room because she's very confused she doesn't have a clue what anything is and the, she ends up on a motorcycle screaming her head off um, Liam doesn't believe her time travel story he thinks she is either a delusional or insane person or she's lying um, scheming them trying to trick them and it was it was brilliant. I think this book had something of everything. It had a touch of the paranormal with the time travel. Um, it had really cute romance, and it was hilarious at the same time. So it had everything I would want in a book. Um, and Bella Street wrote it really well. She wrote the um, Emily sort of perspective um, really well. Like you would believe she was a Regency girl. It was quite funny. Um, for the first time she was shaving her legs and things like that. That's a really random thing to say. But just little experiences like that that made her believable as a Regency character. And then Liam is a really great male character because he's he's a troubled musician. Um, but you don't find out why he's so troubled until near the end of the book. And he can be... He, his mood can change really quickly but they're really attracted to each other and Tinker ends up being not who she, who you think she is and she plays a bigger part in the story than um, you may originally have thought. Um, I cannot recommend this book enough. I seriously can't. I will actually read anything Bella Street ever writes and recommend it I'm sure because it's, it was so brilliant. She wrote it in such a way I just could not put the book down. I really want to know what happened to the characters. The romance wasn't straight away. There was sort of an attraction and getting to know each other but then there were trust issues and um, but I loved the ending. I don't want to give it away but it has a nice solid ending. And this is book one in the Time for Love series. Um, I'm not sure if they're all standalones on their own, but I'm not sure how I'm going to get hold of all the others. Um, but I really want them because this was just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend it. So, 
happy reading.